welcome to the channel and Gears of War 5 tech test action on Xbox One X in 4K. So at the time of the tech test there were two weekends I managed to get around about 8 hours gameplay in. Unfortunately I didn't get any ranked gameplay because it was just so unreliable and it took forever to get into matches. So I kind of gave up with ranked mode and just went into the new mode which is this arcade mode PvP or multiplayer. So all the footage you're seeing here is from the new arcade mode. Now obviously bear in mind this is a beta, so this isn't you know kind of the final product if you like, that's coming on September 5th or 6th, forgive me for getting the date, and this mode has clearly been added to Gears of War 5 to try and attract new players. So they've kind of mixed up the normal gameplay, you know, they're very, there is very much a Gears feel to it, However, you don't start with signature things like the shotguns, the Nashes and stuff. You have to actually earn those weapons. The other thing with the arcade mode is there are no weapon pickups or grenade pickups. So you no longer have super weapons floating around the map. Which means, of course, that you have to unlock them depending on your performance in match. That's where this arcade mode actually kind of comes comparable to likes of you know home front on the xbox 360 or even halo 5 obviously on xbox one where as you're playing your xp allows you to unlock additional things like you know in this case obviously things like the long shot the markser the mulcher the uh, rocket salvo you know the larger weapons basically become available once you get enough XP within the game. Now that in itself can create a couple of problems because obviously if you've got players that are owning everyone else then obviously no one else is going to get a look in and they're going to be running around with the basic weapons which can make it quite tough to progress in a match if you get caught out. I was actually doing quite well with the Lancer. I managed to get MVP a couple of times over the course of the tech test weekend and I even got quite a few seconds and thirds without really you know mixing around the weapons too much I did obviously jump to long shots the minute I got the chance I love the long shot and obviously the marks are as well as quite a good weapon those are quite early on weapons the other thing I wasn't so keen on in this arcade mode and I'm hoping they don't put this in ranked as well is things like that club you just saw that thing had a ridiculous radius i mean if you you know check out the video roll it back a little bit you see how far away i was when i got minced by that thing and that to me is just way too overpowered yes i get you've only got a melee weapon so it's easily to get killed with a gun but given the lance that takes so long to drop someone that thing can just mince you from like 10 meters away the other thing was, unfortunately, I didn't manage to capture the footage. I did some tests with that uh, breaker mace, which is that new club with kind of the bones or the spikes in it. And you can actually down players from the opposite side of cover, even from a different level of cover. So, for instance, if I was to hit the breaker mace against this wall in front here, where I just headshot those two guys, I could actually down them from that side of the wall, the side of the wall I'm on. To me, that's just totally overpowered, and I'm not a fan of melee in this. The other thing they've introduced is like a double slash with a knife when you get close to people, and the problem is with Gears of War in general, the camera view doesn't work well for the player being attacked, because obviously if someone gets in your face, all of a sudden you're trying to look under yourself to see where they are, and by the time you do, most of the time you're dead. So again, I'm not a fan of this close quarter melling with the knife. It kills too quick. I definitely prefer things like, you know, the butt of the bolt -off or the butt of the shotgun. I think that's, you know, a better way of dispatching people. I'm not really a great fan of the knife. The Lancer obviously is in here and you can chainsaw kill as you always could. The other thing I noticed in this game mode was that headshot damage definitely counts which is good because I hate playing multiplayer games where you know a headshot hit is the same as a body hit you know that should be kind of an insta kill if you're accurate enough to hit someone in the head you should be rewarded for that and that is definitely happening in this arcade mode you know headshots which I you know, always go for not always successful mind you but I always go for them you know in this game I was getting rewarded by doing that as you're seeing in the video here so the maps 
I wasn't overly taken by any of these maps. Um, and I'll be honest, Gears of War 4, I can't say I had particularly any favourite maps there either. I liked the maps, I didn't think any of them were bad, but I didn't think there was anything kind of stand out. The one map that did stand out for me, which I totally love in Gears of War 4, was that I think it was a DLC map. And that was the uh, Wind Flare map, where you had all the weather effects and stuff. That was a fantastic map, because there was just so much going on. And there was a bit of chance to it, because you, you, know, you could get struck by lightning and other players could. But obviously using cover and getting in and out of buildings was key to survival and success in that map in PvP. Um, I don't think that was a map they ever played with you know, ranked, because obviously there's a bit of chance involved. But you know, I love that map, I thought that had a lot of character and they clearly put a lot of effort into it. But these maps, you know, they look great, they just felt a little generic to me. Um, and there wasn't anything that kind of made me say, oh wow, you know, that looks amazing, or that plays amazing, or I love this map. So, you know, maps for me, very kind of generic, you know, stuck together maps, mirror images from back to front mostly. And you can see what I mean about the camera there, that guy got right in on me, and I, I just couldn't see what was going on, so I just had to free fire in the hope that I downed him. And that knife attack is very much, you know, exactly that they get right in your face and you just can't see what's going on so i don't think that melee attack lends itself to the you know the camera perspective in the game that's my opinion anyway i really enjoyed what i played of this and i think some of its most rewarding aspects definitely the weapons in this you know gears of war 5 arcade mode that i was playing they felt a lot more punchy they really did feel quite nice and i think the weapons in Gears of War 5 are feeling a lot better than they ever have in any of the previous Gears of War games. Not that they've been bad, I'm just saying it just feels better. And it kind of you know hypes you up a little bit when you're firing something and it feels like you're firing the weapon that you're holding. You know, there are a lot of games out there where you just kind of, you know, you're firing a gun and it doesn't really feel like, you know, anything characteristically like what you're firing. But Gears of War 5 definitely delivers in that aspect as well. Graphically, it looked phenomenal, even for the, you know, the beta, this tech test that it is. So I'm really looking forward to it. Now, obviously, ranked match is very much what it always used to be. So this arcade mode is specifically a new mode added to the game. And as I said, it's clearly been put there to pull in new players. And hopefully it does that for the franchise. Because Gears of War franchise is my favourite franchise. I think it's a fantastic game series. You know, some of the most interesting stories and characters they had over the years. I'm really looking forward to this anyway. So, quite interested in the new escape mode that's coming as well. That should be interesting. And I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with Horde. It looks very much a tower defence affair from what I've seen. So it looks very kind of Gears of War 4 at the moment with some new bells and whistles. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more in the not too distant future. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care, keep well, and most importantly, come back soon. Such brutality, such might. This performance is pleasing.